Hello, Juliet Elliot here for We Love Cycling. I've got my lovely gravel bike with me and today we're going to be taking a look at how to quickly and simply set the correct saddle height on your bike whether that's a road bike a gravel bike or anything performance oriented where you want to get the maximum pedal efficiency and be as comfortable as possible so the first method, the heel on pedal method, is not the most accurate, but it can be useful to give you a kind of rough estimate of where to start with your saddle height before you make any little tweaks and adjustments as you go along. It's also good if you're in a bit of a hurry or you're just not super bothered about having things totally, totally accurate. So to do this, all you do is get on the bike can be helpful to have your bike in a turbo trainer or against something that you can hold on to and then sit normally where you would where you would normally sit in the saddle can be helpful to have your cycling shorts on here to get a bit more accuracy then rotate the pedals until the pedal is as far away as it can be from the saddle so in practice that's not at six o'clock it is in line with your seat tube and therefore your saddle if your leg is straight with your heel on the pedal in this position then when you clip in you should find that you have a slight bend in the knee and that's roughly the right place to have your saddle you can see that's about right for me i can't pedal forwards or i'll just pedal out of the shot and ride straight into that chair but uh that gives you a rough starting point I'll show you the second method now. This one is a little more accurate. So this second method is a little more accurate. It's called the Le Monde method after the former professional pro who popularized this. So what you do is you measure your leg length, your inseam, and then you do a little bit of maths to work out the perfect saddle height. Like anything, um, you may find that you still want to make adjustments. It does depend on your riding style and um, how you have your cleats positioned, things like that. But this is a much better starting point than the heel on pedal method. So to begin, you stand against the wall as if you are measuring yourself. Wait a minute, one thing. I need to take my shoes off, forgot about that. So you stand against the wall and you grab the book place it between your legs with the spine up and then gently press up because you want it to be like you're sat on a saddle so if you were that would slightly compress the pad on your bib shorts and any soft tissue if you've got anyone else in the house you can grab them and get them to help you but um, otherwise just press the book against the wall and then step off easier said than done and mark the top of the book that will be your inseam length I've done it in pencil so I can rub it out later then you get your tape measure and you measure from your mark there are so many marks on this wall then you measure from your mark down to the floor actually do it this way then it's time to do the maths now if you are good at maths perhaps you could do this in your head uh, I'm going to go grab a calculator so now all I've got to do is multiply my inseam length by 0 0.883 and that should give me the correct saddle height. So let's do it. 78.1 times 0 0.883 equals 68.9. Let's grab a tape measure and see if I've got my saddle in the right place. So you need to measure from the middle of your saddle down to the middle of your bottom bracket let's see 69 so those are your two methods for setting your saddle height i would say always take an allen key with you when you've been playing around with saddle height when you go out for a ride you can make small adjustments as you go and make sure that the seat height fits your riding and that you feel comfortable i hope you found this useful do let us know how you got on in the comments